Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this double braided ponytail. It's just a style that I've been really loving a lot lately and I wanted to show you guys. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add some dry shampoo to my hair and I'm just going to kind of work it in with my fingers. Any dry shampoo will do. It will just add in a lot of good extra grip and volume, which is something that I love with every hairstyle I do. So work it through with your fingers, smooth it out, and then you're going to take a small section at the top of your hairline, uh, right where your part is, take a small rectangle and you're going to divide it up into three even sections. And then you're just going to start braiding all the way down. You're not going to grab in any extra chunks. This isn't a French braid. This is just a regular braid, but I'm kind of going inside out. Um, any direction will do though. And just continue that all the way down. Just I'm pulling the middle over to the outside and just alternating back and forth down to the end. But before tying it off, you're going to hold it loosely in one of your hands, just right by the end. And then with the other hand, just slowly pull out the hair from each loop, kind of working from the top down to the bottom. I just start with one side and go all the way down, and then I'll swap hands and go down the other side. Don't worry about the loops being kind of over-exaggerated. I like it kind of a messy look, but if you want it to be more sleek, you can just be a little bit more careful how you pull out to make sure that you don't get any loose chunks that you don't want. Once you're finished, go ahead and tie it off with a small hair tie or rubber band. And then I just like to loop it over the top so that I can move on to my second braid. And I'm just doing the same thing as before, except for this time I'll be doing a little bit more of a Dutch braid, which is gonna be exactly the same as the first braid. Just before you pull a section through and over, you're gonna add a little bit more hair to it. So you're gonna make sure to add some hair to each section before you continue on with your braid. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit just so you can see it all the way through. And then once you reach your ear, go ahead and braid it all the way to the end. This time you're going to tie it off with a small hair tie once again. And then just go ahead and using both hands, pull on the loops in opposite directions. And this will enable you to make it really full and wide. You're just really pancaking that braid as wide as you can go, um, or I guess to your preference. I like to go really wide, and so just go ahead and pull really exaggerated and then it will kind of settle back into place. Don't worry about any of those little loose pieces that come out, it just adds to the look. So now go ahead and gather the rest of your hair up into a high ponytail and you're gonna take that top braid and add it in with a ponytail and then take the bottom braid, wrap it under and over, joining it with your ponytail as well. You don't have to wrap it if you want it to be long but I just like the way that this looks. It works out best for me when I do it this way. So go ahead and tie it off with a hair tie once again, um, making sure that it's really nice and tight before you start tugging. And then you're just going to start loosening the hair away from your scalp. So once you have your ponytail nice and secure, start just kind of pulling at your braids and um, holding on to your ponytail with one hand. You can kind of pull some hair loose on your scalp so that you have more fullness and body. And I like to mess with mostly the top half of my ponytail. That way I have volume in my ponytail as well. You can pull out little chunks and tease it to make it really big and full. Go over your braids again and kind of pull them looser. And then once you have it the way you want, just spray with some good hairspray and you're good to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to leave any questions or comments you have down below. Please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.